So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you the most important thing that is going on nowadays. That is the latest news regarding the ongoing chances of recession in India and what we should do as an individual to be on our safer side and tackle the situation. Okay, so let's start the video and before that if you're new to the channel then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. Okay, see the overall impact on IT industry in India is due to the economic slowdown of USA. They had last two consecutive quarters of negative GDP and as a result the number of projects for the IT companies have reduced drastically hence a direct impact on the Indian IT sector. See a typical recession lasts for around 10 to 12 months but it has not come yet but there are highly chances of global recession in 2023. So let's pray and hope that this doesn't happen in 2023. Okay, all right. In the current situation, we keep on listening that this company has done layoff, that company has fired so many people, hiring is freezed, all these things. And so as a result, the most impo important thing is the interview calls coming to an individual in any domain is very limited. There is a misconception that if hiring is freezed, then there will be no recruitment. That is completely wrong. Okay, that is completely wrong. This is a misconception and we should totally take this out from our mind. So earlier, if a person was getting around 15 to 20 calls, now it has come down to 4 to 5. So still you get the chance. Yeah, you may find difficulty in negotiating the compensation part, but that is a secondary thing, right? So what is our job? Our job is not to lose those chances. Even if you are getting 2 to 3 calls, our preparation should be robust enough and, and we should feel confident about it. Yeah, that yeah, I will crack it. And that confidence will come when you will prepare from the right place and with the right strategy. So if you are pre preparing for the Power BI Data Analyst roles, then you can check out this particular channel. Definitely it will help you out in this. And if you are in some other domain, then apply the same strategy there also. Okay. So this is one point that I wanted to discuss with you. Now the next point that I would like to discuss is, if you have joined a company and you have not got the project within the first two months then don't wait for something to happen. Please don't wait for something. Just start looking out for a new job, keeping in mind the probation period of one month, right? You can't just sit because it happens that when you don't get the project for three to four months, then company only directly asks you to resign. Then at that particular point of time, if you are directly being asked to resign, then, then that will be very difficult for you because you will not be mentally prepared for it. Okay, so be mentally prepared. If you get the project within two months, then it, that is per perfectly fine. But if it is happening that you're not getting, then start looking out for a new job in a different company. And that is what we should do as of current situation. Okay. So keep also this point in your mind. Okay. Now let me move to the next point. So if you have the offer letter from a startup and you are thinking to join that startup, then do proper research about that company. Why? Because of the current situation whether they have sufficient funding, whether they have sufficient cash flow, all these things so that they have the ability to survive in this market if something worse happens. Similarly to big tech and service based companies which do survive as they keep large amount of cash reserves without their company, <clears throat> right? So thinking to join a startup, please keep this point in your mind. All right. Now the next point that I would like to discuss is so what many big companies or service based companies are doing that after getting the offer letters, like after you are getting the offer letters, they are now asking you to resign because you do not qualify their minimum percentage marks that is required. That is 60% 60 marks criteria in 10th, 12th or graduation, right? Earlier companies doesn't used to do strong check, but now as a recession has hit, the IT companies are finding all possible reasons to ask you to resign. Companies won't terminate from their side as it will create bad image of company. So they will ask you to resign. <clears throat> so if you are joining any company, then then have this clarity in the starting only. What is the minimum uh, uh, academic qualification requirement? Okay. If it is 60% and in, in the current situation, if you're planning to join any company below 60%, then, then there are chances that they might ask you to resign because this is happening in reality. So do consider this point also. Okay. 
now let's move to the next point that i would that i would like to discuss so many companies uh, and this point is especially for the freshers so if any big service based company has recruited you so what they are doing nowadays is that based on assessment or internal assessments during the training they are asking you to resign which was not happening earlier right for example before joining they will ask you to do some kind of training unpaid training and they will have some assessment also after the training and if you do not qualify in that assessment like if suppose if you have to score minimum 60% and, and you and you didn't score that much then what they are doing they are revoking the offer letters why because you have not cleared their criteria and this is one of the way to cut short the jobs okay earlier companies used to give multiple chances for candidate to pass the exam but right now they are not giving okay so what you have to do from your side you do not have to give them the chance to do any kind or take any kind of action against you okay you take your things seriously you do everything that you that is needed from your side and give your best in everything okay so this is what i wanted to discuss using this point now my final take or recommendation on this will be that if you are thinking to switch then don't switch right now unless and until it is very urgent for you to switch or if you are a fresher then you don't have any other option other than to look out but other than this do wait for some time at least till the end of 2022 or even first quarter of 2023 and then start looking out till that time keep your focus on preparing things in your particular domain in which you are and get ready to bang when the time will come so friends do let me know in the comment box what are your views on this current situation or any other incident that you want to share with our audience so please do comment in the comment box okay so please share this video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned thank you